Hello, this is Kenny Moore from TaggedPDF.com, continuing a series of short tutorials intended to help optimize PDF documents for assistive technology and mobile PDF readers by meeting the new PDF accessibility requirements of the 508 Refresh. This video will explore another error that can only be detected by knowledgeable human inspection. And the error is This one, non-table content, tagged as a table. The category of this error in the Matterhorn protocol is checkpoint 15 tables. The failure condition reads, content is tagged as a table for information that is not organized in rows and columns. So this video will present a suggestion for remediating this error using Adobe Acrobat Pro and using this example PDF, which if you would like, you're welcome to download and you can use to practice fixing this error. In pack two, I have the example PDF loaded. So I can click start and you can see we get the happy green check mark. This PDF is technically accessible. So just a reminder, technically accessible does not necessarily mean fully accessible. This PDF does have some issues. They just happen to be issues that uh, PAC2 can't detect. They require human inspection. This is the source document for the PDF. It's in Microsoft Word and you can see that it uses a visual style that is sometimes associated with info mapping where the content is chunked with headings along the left side of the content. And one way to achieve this, uh, this look is using a layout table. And we can see that if in Microsoft Word I go ahead and turn on all of the borders on the table. You can see that all of the content of the document is placed inside of that layout table. And then the uh, visual presentation is achieved just by selectively uh, turning off some of the table borders. So info mapping is a very effective uh, visual style for presenting information. It's very popular, uh, but it does present some challenges for information technology when it's converted uh, to PDF because all of that content gets put inside of a table if it's auto tagged, which it typically is. And uh, it's not really a table. It's not a, a data table in the way that this smaller uh, table is. Uh, it's just a, a layout table used for visual presentation. In Acrobat Pro, I'm going to open the Tags pane. And we can see that all of the content of the document, uh, with the exception of the uh, page heading, is inside of that layout table that we saw in the source document. So I'm going to just select each of the container tags. And I'll hold down the control key so that I can select multiple tags. And once I get them all selected, and that looks like that's all of them, I'm going to just go ahead and drag all of the content tags outside of this layout table structure. So there we have it. Now I have a empty layout table structure, which I'm just going to delete. I don't need it. And I'll go ahead and check the content tags, make sure that they're in the right order for reading order, and that they seem to make sense logically, uh, not just semantically. And this all looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Uh, as always with Acrobat Pro, I'm going to save as a new file name. And I like to do that just in case I mess something up, which is pretty easy to do in Acrobat Pro. I want a way to backtrack to the previous version of the file if I screw this one up. So back in pack two, I'm going to load the remediated PDF and click start. And you can see we get the happy green check mark. This PDF 
is technically accessible. It was technically accessible before. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't mess something up while I was working on it. And I can click the uh, handy screen reader preview, which is great for human inspection of the results. And if I expand that out and scroll down, I can see that the content is now, instead of all inside of a uh, layout table, it's presented in a very straightforward and, uh, and uh, simple way for assistive technology and mobile PDF readers. So this all looks good. Looks like we have a uh, 508 compliant PDF. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. This is Kenny Moore of taggedpdf.com. Please feel free to contact me using the Contact Kenny page at taggedpdf.com. Accessibility is the right thing to do.